hi welcome to today's video in today's video we'll be doing this beautiful beautiful jumpsuit worn by these little angels these princesses you can see how much they loved it so let's do it hello guys in today's video we'll be making a jumpsuit from a child of eight years and these are the tools that will be required in this tutorial we'll be needing this fabric we'll be needing a ruler of course a pattern paper and all this we'll be needing for the um, tutorial okay and these are the measurements that we'll be needing the full length of the of the child we'll also be needing the half bodies the crotch you know the crotch we can can be calculated we'll be needing the heat the body rice and all so let's get started right so i've ruled my lines this is 1.5 and this is one before taking up my measurement okay so now we'll be taking the vertical measurement that is i'll begin by taking the length of the trouser part of the jumpsuit which was gotten by minusing my full length from my half length okay so and the full length is 39 the half length is the half length is um eight point is 12.5 so from there we got we got it as um the trouser part as 26 and then our uh, body rise is six and then the crotch is 8.5 because it's a jumpsuit we want the child to be comfortable on it okay so now let's go take the measurement if you haven't subscribed if this is your first time of coming of coming by okay please do try and subscribe and please come again we would like to have you with us you're welcome to vineta clothing tutorials we are glad to have you amongst us and i pray you stick to the end and you continue to watch our videos like it and you can comment make comments and i'll be there to answer your questions if you have any questions to ask just put, in, put it down on the comment section so here are the lines and so this is our approach our body rise and this is our approach now we are going to be taking the length let me take the length of the trouser is 26 and the trouser part is 26 okay the hip of the child is 25 but i don't want it tight on the child so i added two inches to it so it became 27 okay so now 27 divided by 4 we have 7 inches and then i'll mark out them. now approach length is at the front we have we divided our hip by 20 and the crotch length is 1.4 so i'll mark out 1.4 here and then here i'm going to come out by 0 0.2 and we'll mark out the crotch Okay. 
Really just what you have. So I don't want to try it. And now, you know, I'll bring whatever I have here down here. I want to give you three, but not so three, if I try. So here's what we have. This is what we have as a child. Here at the waist is going to be the way it is because I don't want it fitted on her. I'm going to put a rope across but there will still be a zipper at the back for easy wear so that she can easily wear it so now i'm going to what i'm going to do now is just to come down here and make it okay okay so that's what the I'll not place my other ones. Here I'm done putting the the trouser part and I'm going to cut out the body strength from here. So of course I'll mark out my one inch. If you have watched up to this point and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that whenever a new video is uploaded, you'll be notified. And also like this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and those who will be interested in such videos. Okay, here I did this. 
so a shoulder the shoulder this is going to be an off shoulder body for kids okay her shoulder is 11 her shoulder is 11 so when we divide 11 by 2 we have 5.5 so her shoulder is 5.5 and here I want to off I'm going to off 2.5 the bodies is uh, 12.5 so I'll mark out 13 and then here my arm cell depth is 5.5 sorry her arm cell depth is 5 and since it's an off shoulder, I'm going to make the arm cell depth like 6 because it shouldn't be so wide. Okay. If, I'm fixing, if you are fixing sleeve, it will be much more freer than this. is 25.8 so when you divide by 4 you will get 6.4 and we know that here because of the okay because of the waistline the waistline is 7 okay so and here we are going to put remember it's not going to be a fitted stuff because we have an elastic a rope not really an elastic we are going to insert a rope on this part of the jumpsuit so I'll come in here I'll come in here by two okay and then slant it this way okay I hope you can see. There. If you want it a little curvy, not just so straight. From here. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I'll keep my allowance. I'm going to be keeping one inch allowance on the side. So now this is my fabric. I've made it. I'm going to fold it into two this way. I'll cut the on the front and I'll cut on the back. Okay. Okay. about to alter this to enable us to get the back so what we do first is to come in here 
you come in here by 0 0.0.5 Come in here by 0 0.5. Okay. Then up here, we are meant to come in by 1 inch from this line. Okay. Come in here by 1 inch. And we move up. Place it on this other straight line you made initially. Not on this planted line. Okay. On the straight line we made before coming down so this is where I have the straight line so I'll go up from that point by one inch I'll go up by that point by one inch because I am to blend it here with the same seven inch the seven inches I need here as my waistline and here I've already kept my 0.5 as my joining allowance i'll also come here and add the zero and add the 0 0.5 and place my seven from here to here to give me my seven inches it's i will need my one inch allowance here as well so this is my one inch allowance so i will move this way blend it this way from that point from around from where we came up back we blend it to where you have your waistline here so come out here on the waistline I hope you can see the chalk the line in the chalk so I'll have to extend this one. I don't think you can see it. Let me try using this blue chalk to see. I need to be better. So this is the line better. So I came up by 1.5 plus the ending allowance and I'll also blend blend it towards my seven inches I made and my now seven inches and then the one inch for sewing allowance here at the waistline so here i'll also extend all this my horizontal lines yeah i'm going to keep 0 0.5 inch because obviously your back because of your box is bigger than the front okay. 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 to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up do not forget to do that so i would to for my crotch extension the crotch extension at the back you divide it by 10 and when you divide it by 10 that is dividing the hip by 10 27 which is 27 you will get 2.8 so coming from here this point we we enter here by 0 0.5 and we we'll extend it here by 2.8 okay so we come out here by 2.8 it's come out here by two point eight and then we blend this towards this uh okay. I blended it towards here. I just hope you can see what I am doing. We blend it here. Huh? Just blend it. Place your ruler and blend. Just blend everything. And so I'll keep you also keep the zero point five allowance here. Okay. Okay. 
Take up this point to enable us have our crotch curve. Okay, we'll mark out this point because we need this point on the fabric. So we'll mark this what we have here so we can then transfer the point. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to transfer the point. So come here, extend the line towards that point you need. Extend it. And just stand here. It's just the same procedure you take when you are doing making a trouser for an adult is just the measurement that is different and a little alteration so now for the curve these are body rights you come out of this straight line you just make by 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 and then you use your curve and so you use your curve to mark it out make the curve okay use your curve enough to give it a nice curve okay so this is it we are practically done so next up is to place your allowance In the front, I've kept it on fold, okay. Then I'll place my pattern. okay here is what we have been able to cut the down part of the of the jumpsuit the trouser part the upper bodies is 
like um, is an off shoulder bodice with a strap on it the straps have been cut and also the strap we are going to put around the waistline okay and the sewing of this um of this um pattern of this we have been able to cut together will be done in our next video so please do well to watch the next video and remember to subscribe and to like this video and the sewing when you watch it thank you and see you in my next video